tough loss today. Um, 30 points for you. Um, overall thoughts on the game? Tough loss to a division opponent. Uh, yeah, you know, it was, it was a very tough loss. Um, you know, uh, like my performance aside, I, you know, I'm not really, I don't really care for that if we win games. Like that's the main, that's the main thing I want to win. So, I mean, you know, it was a tough, tough loss for us, obviously. Uh, I feel like, you know, all our guys, all our guys fought, you know what I mean? You know, we stayed together, which was a huge, it's a huge thing for such a young team that we do have. Um, and, you know, missing a few guys as well, we were able to stick together and, you know, keep fighting. So I was, I'm very proud of my teammates uh, and all of us for that matter. But, um, you know, uh, I just feel like, you know, they made more plays than us and they won the game. But um, I don't think it was a lack of effort on our part or, you know, a lack of fight, like I said. So a tough loss for sure. But, um, you know, group and uh, get ready for Wednesday against Loyola and get that one. Jake? And Jameer, it seemed like the uh, game really came down to that stretch in the first half where all of a sudden Navy goes on a – I think it was an 18-0 run, and there were a lot of turnovers. What kind of would you attribute kind of all those miscues to that that led to all the the easy fast break points for them? Uh, I, I feel like you know during that stretch, you know our attention to you know detail and offensive end wasn't there. Um, as far as like you know being being strong with the ball, uh, you know securing the ball, you know making sure it gets to our teammate without just you know lobbing it and stuff like that. So just being strong with the ball, I feel like. Uh, we weren't and during that stretch, and they took advantage of that. And, you know, we kind of gave them easy points. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's just something that, you know, we had to fix up on our own as far as, you know, taking care of the ball and being strong with it. I feel like we did a lot better job the second half with that. Uh, but um, in that first half, they made that big run. So, yeah, because of that. Zeke? Uh, hey, Jameer. Uh, I was just wondering, in both games this weekend, uh, the team had some problems turning the ball over. And I think it's safe to say that the turnovers made it hard for you guys to keep any significant momentum you guys were building in both of the games. Uh, I was wondering, what the main is- what was the main issue you think that led to the high amount of turnovers playing against Navy? And how does the team figure to cut these numbers going down in the future? Uh, I just think it was, you know, we had too many unforced ones. Um, meaning by that, like, uh, you know, just um, them not really pressuring us, like us being loose with the ball, um, you know, stuff like that, not making sharp passes, getting stolen, um, you know, uh, you know, getting charges, stuff like that, like, you know, not, not coming to a hop step, you know what I'm saying, and making a pass or whatever, like, those are unforced turnovers. Um, you know, the turnovers that, you know, we had as far as trying to make plays for others, and you know, getting the lane, kicking it out, getting deflected, that's one thing. Um, and, uh, you know, the dead ball turnovers, it's better than live ball turnovers. So we had a lot of live ball turnovers that allowed them to get out transition. Um, I don't really think there's one thing that, you know, is the reason for the turnovers are other than, you know, just uh, being being strong with the ball and taking care of it. I don't think they were doing anything other than, you know, denying a lot of our stuff and stuff like that. But that still uh, shouldn't affect, you know, how solid we are with the ball in our hand and with the possession. Um so, you know, just moving forward, we just got to focus on that even more. I mean, that's the focus of our team now. We didn't do a great job of it this weekend to take care of the ball. Uh, but, you know, moving forward, it's just you have to keep preaching it and um, keep emphasizing, you know, limiting our turnovers down and, you know, keeping as many possessions as we can. Gotcha. Thank you. Trevor? So given the fact that y'all have only had six games for the season, uh, which is the lowest of any Division One team, do you guys think that playing Navy these past couple of times is going to get you ready for the rest of the season? Do you guys feel like you're going to be prepared enough to uh, make a substantial run? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, Navy's a great team. Um, they're a very solid team. You know, a tough team. Uh, you know, the best team in the league. I don't think they may have lost one game. Um, so, you know, uh, I feel like, you know, playing against them and, and giving them and fighting against them and, and battling against them definitely is giving, you know, our team, our young team, the experience that we need. So, you know, finish these few games out and make a run in the tournament for sure. So I have the utmost confidence in my teammates, um, you know, myself and our coaching staff. I feel like, you know, we have everything we need in order to make a run. Um, and like I said, being able to play Navy, the best team in the league at, at this point in time, um, and, you know, really give them, you know, a tough battle uh, was great for our guys. So especially our freshmen, you know, gaining that experience about what it's really like and how hard it is to win. You know, it was only going to help us in the long run. So I feel like, you know, playing against them this weekend definitely was a stepping stone for us. I'll hop in here one 
quick question. Building off that, as the senior and the leader, a bunch of freshmen got a lot of extended minutes, especially Colin and Matt stepping in. What did you see from their performance this weekend? And also, what are you seeing in practice for the future of the program? I think they did great. You know, Colin Smalls and Matt Rogers, they, you know, and our other freshmen too, you know, Lorenzo, Donadio, and, you know, Christian Loring, like all the young guys, like they're doing great. Chris Gleaton. I mean, um, as far as Colin and Matt specifically, you know, their willing their willingness to learn is is definitely there. I'm in mean, practice, they go hard, you know, they try to pay attention to every detail or listen to everything that I'm telling them as well as the coaches. Um, so I think they perform really well. You know, for Colin, that was the second game today, actually playing. Um, you know, he, he's not afraid. You know what I'm saying? He brings the effort on both ends of the floor and he's not he's not afraid to make plays either. So that means a lot, um, you know, for a freshman to have that mentality uh, and to play that way, especially going up against the best team in the league. So, you know, as, as far as him, you know, he's doing really well. Matt Rogers as well. You know, he, he's, he's a workhorse, man. Like, you know, he goes after every offensive rebound. He tries to get rebounds. He tries to make winning plays for us to win. And he can score in the block and, you know, hit open threes and stuff like that. So, um, you know, he, he wants to win games. Colin is the same way and all of our freshmen are the same way, but those two in particular, you know, they're definitely giving us a lot and giving us all that they can. Um, and, and, you know, they're helping us for sure. So they're going to be a, you know, intricate part uh, for the rest of the season and for the future, you know, you know, the, the program's in good hands. I mean, with those two guys and the other freshmen that we have now, like we're going to be really good in the following years. And, um, you know, with those two guys leading the way, uh, I and mean, they're going to be pretty good and they're going to be very strong, very strong and, and united team. Um, and the chemistry is, is going to be excellent uh, with those two guys leading the way and the other freshmen on board who also care about winning. So it's going to be a good thing. Great. Yeah, kind of related to that, Jameer. I mean, you know, it's, it, it looks like, you know, Wednesday night, which is only, of course, your uh, sixth game, seventh game of the season, could be absolutely huge as far as, you know, deciding which, which of you and Loyola, you know, advances out of the pod to the Patriot League tournament. How do you kind of, uh, I guess, how do you kind of, A, emphasize the urgency of such a moment while also doing what you were just talking about as far as bringing these young guys along when, of course, it's not necessarily fair that in their seventh collegiate game and for a guy like Colin, his third game, you have such a huge, you know, important game coming up. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the, the circumstances, you know, it is what it is. I mean, um, you know, the team that we have, you know, we're, we're not here to make excuses. Um, you know, obviously, it's only going to be our seventh or sixth game. Um, but, you know, we're going to have to be ready for it. You know, I'm, I'm in I'm in our team, our, my teammates is here all the time, letting them know that we got to move on. Like today after the loss, it was a tough loss. We was kind of down, but it's time to move on and get prepared for Wednesday. They all know that. They know they all know how important this game is and how uh, serious of a moment it is. And it's going to be a moment, you know, but I feel like they're all prepared for that. Uh, and I'm not going to let allow them to, you know, walk around and, and sulk about the game that we just had, knowing how important one day's game is. So, and they know that. So I feel like, you know, they'll be up for the challenge and, you know, me along with the other upperclassmen are going to, you know, motivate them and push them and be in their ear to let them know that as long as they give everything that they have and all their effort, um, everything's going to be fine and, you know, we'll end up on top. So, uh, you know, it's definitely a huge moment for us. Um, you know, the first time, uh, our freshmen are going to experience this moment, but I feel like with our guidance, um, you know, they'll be just fine. Any last questions? Got one more for you, Jameer. Uh, after a 27 day layoff from in game action, how good did it actually feel to be out on the floor again with your teammates today? And was there any difficulty adjusting to the pace of division one basketball again, after having one of the longest layoffs in the entire NCAA? Uh, I mean, it felt great getting back out there. I mean, you know, myself and my teammates, you know, we're all hoopers. Like we want to, we want to play, we want to practice, we want to play games. So being able to get back on the court was great. Um, uh, I, don't, you know, I don't think it, you know, was really an adjustment as far as adjusting to the speed of the game. Like I played college basketball for me personally, at least. I played college basketball, so you know, adjusting to the speed of it and you know how everything goes really wasn't an issue. Uh, just more so, just getting my legs back under me. Um, you know, after that long layoff, which, like you said, was very, very long, 
um, and just, you know, getting back to what I know. So uh, I don't think it was really an adjustment as far as, you know, um, reestablishing myself with how the game is, is played and the speed of it and things of that nature. It was just more so getting my legs back in shape, um, play uh, the intense the intense games that we have in the Patriot League. So, yeah, that's pretty much it.